I've heard about the weapon they've made for sacrificing Spriggans. Greetings, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Skyrim video. This one is Blessings of Nature, and it's a two-part quest given to you by Danica Pierspring. If you talk to her under the Gilder Gleam in Winterhold, and you first have to um, find a weapon called Nettlesbane. Then you have to go to the sanctum of the Elder Gleam in order to save the tree that is in Winterhold. You have a bit of a moral, um, how shall I say, dilemma. And if you make either choice, it doesn't matter. You just want to do the nicer choice, which is what I do in this video. So let's get on with Blessings of Nature. It's a shame, isn't it? This is the Gilder Green. It was planted as a seedling in the early years of Whiterun. Disciples of Kinareth could sense something holy in it and traveled far to hear the winds of the goddess in its branches. They built the temple. Of course, not as many pilgrims these days. To the east of here is a hidden grove where the Elder Gleam resides. It's the oldest living thing in Skyrim, maybe all of Tamriel. Our tree here in the city was grown from a cutting of that tree. You can still feel the glory of the mother tree through it. Even its name is an echo. I've thought about that. Trees like this never really die, they only slumber. I think if we had some of the sap from the parent tree, we could wake up its child. But even if you could get to the Elder Gleam, you couldn't tap it, not with any normal metal. If you want to help, you'll need something to cut into it first. You'll have to deal with the Hag Ravens. I've heard about the weapon they've made for sacrificing Spriggans. It's called Nettlebane. The Hags terrify me, or I would have gone after it myself. Your spirit is strong. Kinareth's winds will guide your path. It's held in a Hagraven nest called Orphan Rock. Once you accept the quest, you have to go travel to some Hagraven's nest, fight some witches and a Hagraven, and get Nettlesbane from them. And that is the next part of this quest, fighting those Hagravens. The Hag Raven's Nest is located next to the Falkareth um, Stormcloaks camp. And you can fast travel there if you've explored the area and then fight the Hag Ravens and get to their Orphan's Rock Nest here. You kind of got to walk around a little bit and it gets a little confusing. I'm going to fast forward to where I actually get to Orphan's Rock here. The normal hags you encounter are fairly easy to fight. When you finally get to fight the main hag raven, she's a little more difficult. And that will require some strategy to take her down. But you can take damage from the normal hags. And yeah, you can still defeat them. Now it's on to the hag raven. This Hag Raven has some really powerful fireballs, and yeah, you don't want to take too many hits from her. You got to sneak your way up. Now, there's two ways you can try and take her down, and that's either using archery or my method is just 
basically heal up, uh, use unrelenting force, and just try and overwhelm her while she's stunned. And let's see, unrelenting force, let's see if this strategy works. That worked. Now let's see what we got here. Nettle's Bane. And then the Hag Raven claws and feathers are worth something. First person view. Uh, Arcana Enchanter. Yeah, they sacrifice Spriggans and use the Taproot, which has some power. And that's why it's a kind of an interesting alchemy ingredient. Again, I'm going to enchant. You want to bring up your enchanting skill, and there's a reason. I'll do a video about that later. Um, when it comes to arms and armament, enchanting is a very useful and very powerful thing. Now, the chest here, yeah, an empty black soul gem and some gold. Even selling an empty black soul gem is a good thing. Now I'm going to get back to Danica, fast travel. There's another chest here, and we will continue on with the next part, which is getting to the Elder Gleam and completing this quest, Blessings of Nature. So, have you gotten net? Oh, I... Well, I honestly didn't expect you to come back. Of course, I'm glad you did. Now... Oh, I don't really want to touch that thing, though. Do you think you could handle the next steps? Elder Gleam Sanctuary Grove is to the east of here. You can use Nettlebane to retrieve some of its sap. Oh, the fever! My body burns! Was I correct in hearing that you were traveling to the Grove of the Elder Gleam? I am a traveler, a pilgrim. I follow the voice of Kinnereth wherever it can be heard. I've dreamed of seeing Elder Gleam for years. Might I travel alongside you? I promise not to get in the way. I thank you for your kindness. Bring Maurice along. He's actually a good guy and you can make a decision thanks to him. If you don't, you gotta fight him. I've already mapped out a bit of uh, Skyrim, so I'm gonna just fast travel to the Elder Gleam Sanctum and go through this quest. The Sanctum is really lush. It's really nice. I'm gonna try and get through it as quickly as possible, so this is not such a long video. I'll probably fast forward through a few things here just to get to the end. Praise Kin, you are in Elder Gleam Sanctuary. Just a small glimpse of what beauty Kinnereth has to offer. Wonderful place, isn't it? Yes, my friend. Though no one has been able to get close to her for as long as I can remember. As you can see, Eldrigleam's roots are large and stretch far, blocking any path to her trunk. Though, believe it or not, there are rumors of a weapon that even Eldrigleam herself would lift her roots for, more out of fear than respect. The rumors are true. I beg of you, don't harm the tree. Nothing good can come of it. Please move quickly. Elder Gleam awaits us.
a man of violence. What exactly are your intentions in this... You would violate this marvel of Kinneret's glory to fix that half-breed stump in Whiterun? That's abominable. Barbaric! I'll have no part of this. Why didn't you tell me what you intended? Well, yes. There is something. It won't repair the tree back at the temple, but we could bring them a new one. Follow me. I think I can convince the tree to help us. Gleam has blessed us with a sapling. You should take it to Whiterun. Danica will want to see that the true blessings of nature lie in renewal, not a slavish maintenance. It was my pleasure, friend. In a way, I envy you getting to carry such a direct sign of Kinnereth's graces. Good luck on your travels. May Kinnereth's wind carry only the sweetest scents. Don't forget to pick up the sapling, which is what I did. And if you choose to take the sap rather than the sapling, Maurice and the other woman turn into um, Spriggans, who you have to fight. And eventually you take the sap and you, you're the bad guy. Like I said, don't forget to take the sapling. I'm going to. Cut back to where I actually take the sapling. Okay, sapling taken. So let's get back to Danica and go through that whole um, conversation. Do you have the elf? But I can't run the temple without the support of people who are inspired by the Gilder Guild. How can this little tree bring new worshippers? I... You're right, of course. It can be hard to hear the winds of Kinare when all you hear are the rabble in the temple. Death feeds new life. I'm sure that in time, this little sapling will grow into a new Gilder Green that will tower over White Rock. Thank you. Grace of Kinnereth be with you. And there you have it. Blessings of nature complete. The Hag Raven is probably the hardest creature to fight. Overall, it's a pretty easy quest if you're at a higher level. If you like the video, hit the like button. And please feel free to leave a comment. I always respond to comments or do my best to do so. If you like this type of video, I post four a week and you don't want to miss out. So hit that subscribe button and bell icon and you'll be notified when I post videos. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thanking those who subscribe, thanking those who leave comments, and thanking those who like my video. And most of all, thanks for stopping by.